Hey everyone, it's CJ here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to make a quick video going over my top four free online resources for learning how to invest like Warren Buffett. All these resources have played a huge role in helping me to form somewhat of a coherent investment philosophy over the years. And I would really encourage you to check out each and every one of them for yourselves. If you read these, you basically are getting a free masterclass from Warren Buffett himself on how to be successful in investing. Okay, first up, this is the Warren Buffett archive on CNBC. If you go to buffett.cnbc.com, you'll be presented with a treasure trove of information here. So on the landing page here, we can scroll down just a little bit and see what this site actually has to offer. Uh, it has 27 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting videos, which I would highly recommend you watch each and every one of those. Monish Pabrai has said that he puts those on when he's in the shower or driving in the car, and he's made his way through all the videos from 1994 all the way up until 2020. He says he learns things every single time he listens to one of them, and it's been the same experience for me as well. So like I said, there are videos from 1994 all the way up until the most recent annual meeting in 2020 and 130 hours of video footage. Now, there's only a few people in the world that I would wanna watch that much footage of and that would be Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. In addition to the full annual meetings, you're also going to get curated clips from CNBC themselves covering specific topics and you can also search for specific topics they have this archived and divvied out into different types of topics. So for here, they have listed uh, mutual funds, stock markets, technologies, etc. So any specific topic that you're looking for Buffett's opinion on should be searchable completely here. And it even covers specific companies such as Apple and Coca-Cola. So you can see his decades worth of wisdom based on individual companies as well. Then there's also all of his CNBC interviews with Becky Quick and some of them have Bill Gates and Charlie Munger as well joining them. These are also worth a watch. Now, some of these interviews he does kind of give more platitudes than he normally would in the annual meetings. So just be aware of that. You might hear the same thing over and over again on this part. And then next up, Buffett A to Z. This is more about the searchable kind of specific topics that you wanna hear from Buffett on. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Please explore that for yourself. And then a quick timeline of Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett. I mean, if you're interested in that, by all means, I, I would definitely look through that timeline. I'm not gonna go through that on this video here. And then CNBC actually has their own documentary. Now, I haven't watched this, but I would recommend just kind of off topic, HBO has a documentary on Warren Buffett and it is excellent. So please go watch that if you have an HBO subscription, but don't go out of your way to buy that or anything. Uh, it's good, but if you can get your hands on it, then please watch it. Any of the information in, in that HBO documentary is gonna be covered in these four free resources, so don't sweat it too much, but it is kind of enjoyable just to watch uh, Hollywood quality film produced about Buffett. Okay, that was the first source. The next source is a little bit related to the searchable topics on the Buffett.CNBC website, and this is BuffettFAQ.com. So this covers not so many of his recent annual reports. I think uh, the curator of this website kind of let the CNBC website take over the curation of his FAQs and stuff. But what I really appreciate about this website is that it's all in text. So I can just simply do a command F or control F and search for a specific keyword that I'm looking for Buffett's opinion on. For instance, you could do a search for intrinsic value or Coca-Cola, and very quickly, you'll be able to find in text form what you need. So videos are great, especially for passive ingestion, but if you're looking for a quick answer, then I would definitely go for Buffett FAQ. It's great, it's broken out into different sections. Uh, the first one is investing approaches, and then here he has a list of all of the pertinent questions. I think the latest date for this information is 2010, but the th great thing about Buffett's wisdom in particular is that it doesn't really change that much and it doesn't need to. Uh, it, it's broad enough where it should carry through and be relevant for your entire career. I mean, company specific things, yeah, those are gonna change, but the core investing principles that you'll learn from this information are going to stay the same generally. So the answers are pretty much transcribed straight from Buffett's mouth. So 
we can click on this one. Have you ever bought a company where the numbers told you not to? How much is quantitative and how much is qualitative? So you click on this and here we go, an entire page of information simply based on what Buffett has to say about that specific question. And here we can see that the answer is from 1998. So this is pretty old information. So it's kind of up to you to decide whether or not that information is still relevant. I would guess though that most of it is for you. So obviously there's a ton of information on this website. I would really recommend to read it top to bottom. And it's not all just about investing. Some of it is personal. Here we see personal and then he's got advice, career advice, things of that nature. Um, I would read this top to bottom. Just start, start a day because you really shouldn't miss out on anything that Buffett has to say. He is way more successful at investing than probably anyone watching this video, no offense. So let's just try to pay attention to him as much as possible. Now, it would be ridiculous to assume that you're gonna be able to read this entire FAQ in one sitting. So maybe you take a couple, you know, maybe one section a day or maybe just a few questions a day. And it'll give you that daily reminder of how to kind of start thinking or continue thinking like Warren Buffett. And then this next one is the most important source by far. It is the Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholder letters. Now these date from 1977 to 2020 and you can get this just by going to berkshirehathaway.com and there's a link right on the main homepage there. Again, some of this information is going to be specific to that time period, to 1977, but he covers a ton of his investment philosophy in every single one of these letters. Again, it's basically a compilation of his life's work and how he has figured out how to invest successfully throughout his career. So if there's one source that I'm giving you today, it would be to read all of these letters in their entirety. Some of the earlier ones are not very long. As you can see, I'll scroll through this. This is the very first one, um, you know, maybe two or three pages long. But then we have the most recent one, which I think is 14 pages. So he provides returns here and it's quite a bit more text. However, Reading through those is never a wasted effort, trust me. There are a bunch of books that compile all these annual letters together and some that will do something similar to what Buffett FAQ has done in the books. They'll put, you know, categorize all of this information and that's really helpful, but nothing will beat reading from the source directly as they were written at the time they were written. You can see Buffett's philosophy actually evolve as you read through these, it's great. Buffett is famous for saying that he writes his annual letters as if he were writing to his intelligent yet not very financially savvy sister. So he wants to make it as clear as possible and provide information to his shareholders that he himself would wanna know as a shareholder of a company. So he is very clear. These letters are a shining, pristine example of how management should communicate to their shareholders. So at the very least, even if you're not interested in Buffett's philosophy, you can learn a lot about how to write and communicate effectively. And if you're looking at other companies' shareholder letters, they should read more closely to Buffett's than anything else. Once you learn to appreciate how clear and straightforward Buffett is, it's gonna be hard to go back to subpar management letters and trust them as well as you do Warren Buffett. But nobody is probably going to come close to Buffett in that regard, so just keep that in mind. This is the pinnacle. This is the five-star review for annual letters. So again, please read through all of these. Maybe just take one a day or a half of a letter a day. And by the end of it, you're gonna pretty much have a complete, well-rounded philosophy for investing. And finally, I want to touch on more Buffett shareholder letters, but these aren't for Berkshire Hathaway. These are for the Buffett partnerships. Buffett actually ran a partnership before he took control of Berkshire Hathaway. And these are all the letters that he released before the whole Berkshire Hathaway saga. I'll leave a link to these in the video description, but you can also just Google Buffett Partnership Annual Letters and this should come up. This particular version is on CS Investing. Um, it's just 152 short pages of jam-packed of information. And the most interesting thing about this is you get to see Buffett's early, early, early years. We get to see how a young Buffett thought about the world how he thought about valuing businesses, what was a good investment and what wasn't. His, in, his investment philosophy obviously evolves over these years. These letters cover from 1957 all the way to 1970. So that's a huge gap. Buffett was only 27 years old when he first started publishing these letters. So he has come a long way, but 
a lot of the information in here is surprisingly relevant and echoes his similar sentiments to today. Again, some of this information is specific to his partnerships uh, back in the day, which may not be so relevant today, but even if you are thinking about starting your own fund, this would be a good prototype to start. Um, I can't recall if he actually provides his, his details of how his fund was structured, but we can cover that in another video if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments. This is basically another investing book that you can find for free online. Again, I wanna reiterate that all four of these sources should be read from top to bottom or all of the videos should be watched from beginning to end. It may be the case that say you start reading the annual shareholder letters and then you go to the CNBC website and find that it is redundant. Well, then maybe you don't need to take all of this information in one fell swoop. You probably don't need to do a one year complete Buffett cram into your head. That might not be so effective. So one strategy that you could take that I might recommend myself is to start with the shareholder letters. I would read his early partnership letters and then read every single annual letter. Now that could take months and that's perfectly okay. Start there and then use the CNBC and the Buffett FAQs to supplement that or reinforce the learnings that you had from the annual letters. That's probably what I would do to start, but if you're more comfortable with listening or if you like to go on walks or you drive a lot to commute, then maybe putting on a video and just listening to it is gonna be your best bet. Buffett does repeat a lot of information over and over again, and that is a good thing for us as investors because we always have an opportunity to reinforce what we should be doing and he kind of sets the golden standard for that. That doesn't mean that everything that Buffett says is perfect or is always right, but it is a great place to start for us. Anyway, I hope you find these resources useful, and if you have interacted with any of these in the past, please let me know in the comments below, and maybe you can add some additional insight if I didn't cover something in this video. If you like this video, you may enjoy my video over here about Monish Prabhai's new investment philosophy. Also, let me know if you have any other free resources you like to use learning from Warren Buffett. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this information useful. I really appreciate you sticking all the way to the end, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much.